Coming up next on an all-new episode of Turnaround Steering, why the Pookies and Ray Rays are going after the fine, good-looking girls and why nice guys are often finishing last. Join me for an all-new episode of Turnaround Steering, coming up next on YouTube. The Pookies and Ray Rays are winning over the good-looking girls and the nice guys are always finishing last. Stay tuned for another all-new episode of Turnaround Steering because we're going to dig deep inside this episode. And later on, I'll also give you theoretical thought at the end of this episode. So, fellas, y'all know the drill. Grab a snack and come on back because y'all just might learn something. Roll the intro. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Mr. Turnaround, aka Tenacious T. And welcome back to another episode of Turnaround Stereo, where I give you a theoretical thought on just about anything. Listen, if you are new to my channel, I personally want to welcome you. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It will help out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you will instantly be notified every single time your boy post up and upload more additional content onto the channel. And if you want to also contribute to my YouTube channel, there is also a link in the description box below for PayPal. So with that being said, let's jump right over into today's episode of Turnaround Steering. So today's episode is all about the pookies and ray rays that are getting all of the good girls while nice guys finish last. Now to the nice guys that finish last, it's not your fault. It's just that these women prefer these type of dudes that's got a hell of a criminal record on them when they did some serious time, but they back out on the streets doing what they do best. Get all the good women, go to bed with them at their house or at their mama house, wherever they at, and you wind up getting pregnant by these pookies and ray rays. That's why our families and friends have always told these sisters do not mess with these type of guys that's got a criminal record, but yet and still, they do what the devil they want to do, and yet, they're paying the price for it. So I want you to watch a couple of these videos, and tell me what you think in the comment section below, and while you do that, we're going to roll up to these videos, and I'm going to come right back in a moment. Jailbirds are up one. Y'all dudes that's on the streets, y'all got to step y'all game up. Y'all are losing to these dudes that's in the damn prison system, okay? I was on TikTok last night. And I ran across a live. It was like four dudes that was in the feds. Um, so I just tapped in to be nosy to see what they were talking about. Do y'all know it's like it was thousands of girls on there like being so thirsty, asking these locked up dudes, oh, what's your JPay? I want to see you some money. I want to come see you. I want to be your pen pal. Like has a dating pool become that bad that we got to reach out to that's locked up? For love? And this is why women should never settle for a pookie and ray ray. Not only do they have a hell of a criminal record, but they're always out in the streets pimping other women. And these f***ers is winning. Like, they taking all the f***ers. The bad ones, too. Like, y'all dudes on the streets gotta step y'all game up. Y'all are losing terribly to some f***ers in the penitentiary. What? That's wild. Incoming stitch ahead. Get ready for it. How are men, free men, walking the streets, losing to jailbirds? How, man? You can't even make that make sense. I just love how these women telling on themselves. I've been told y'all time and time again, and I'm going to keep telling y'all, these women love Pookie and Ray Ray, and the only time they go after the men that they know they were supposed to be entertaining from the jump is when Pookie and Ray Ray ruin their life. These women love jailbirds. These women love repeat offenders. I'm not talking about the man that gets locked up once or twice. I'm talking about the man that keeps constantly going back. Women love those type of men. Women love DL men that can't stay out of jail. This brother speaking facts. You can't make this shit up, bro. These be the same women that say it's never right to use a woman's past against her. But ma'am, y'all are on the internet admitting to liking jailbirds and respecting jailbirds more than y'all respect a man working a nine to five. 
You stupid or something. Fellas, don't ever let these ladies tell y'all they don't like DL men. Because they basically telling on themselves. They say it all the time. Men that can't stay out of jail, they like other men. Now, if you go on a prison side of TikTok, who's over there most of the time? When you look in the comment section, who's over there most of the time? Women. She belongs to the streets. You big dummy. Now that was an earful, don't you think? Here's another incoming TikTok Stitch video that I want you to watch and see for yourself. And again, let me know what you think in the comment section below thus far. Stay tuned because I'll be right back. Only one out of every four black women will get married in her lifetime. All right, Umar, you're 100% correct on that. Only one out of four black women will get married. But you could change that by practicing what you preach and marrying one of your two baby moms. After all, you had two kids out of wedlock and you created two single moms, which means that you are no better than Pookie and Ray Ray. Straight facts. If you was there to drop the cream, you should be responsible enough to provide the green. Huh? What? And the more that you continue to bash black men for dating outside their race, the more they're going to do it because you cannot protect what can't be corrected. Good quality men of structure. We do not want any women that are for the streets. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Wow. Wow. I mean, what the hell can you say? I will say this though. It's an always an old saying when women get with the pookies and ray rays that they deal with in the club. Once every pookie and ray ray turns that door knob, everybody gets a turn. Or something like that. Anyway, don't go away because I'll be right back with a theoretical thought right after this. Ladies, I'm going to call you out real quick and I'm only going to call you out because I really haven't seen any videos like this from men. But y'all love to say where are all the good men at? Where are the caring men at? Where are the emotionally intelligent men at? Baby girl, you know you and passed up on some good man in your lifetime, but you weren't ready to settle down yet. For some reason, you just said, you know what? This person marks off all these check marks, but there's just a couple non-negotiables and not non-negotiables. There's just a couple things that it's just not going to work. I think I can find better. And I'm not saying men don't do this, but just the trend of saying, where are all the good people at? There are good men out here. You know it. I know it. I don't care how much you hate men. We both know that there are good people out here just like there's still good women out here. Some of you just need to be honest with yourself and look at the decisions that you've made and or realize that you're sleeping on someone right now. I think a majority of women know someone right now that can meet all their needs, but for some reason, they won't pursue that relationship. And now, turn around, steal, radical thought. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what time it is. It's just my favorite part of the segment, what we call Turnaround Steel Radical Fault. And today's episode is all about the pookies and ray rays that'll get with the good women while nice guys finish last. So here's your theoretical fault for the day. To the good men that are out there, it's not your fault that these women choose the pookies and ray rays over good dudes like yourself. It's not your fault that they chose the bad guys. These are the type of bad guys that have a criminal record and they don't have nothing else going for themselves. But yet and still, they want to deal with these pookies and ray rays and they love having a little strictness in them. So be careful with your preference in terms of what kind of woman you like. Because if you don't fit in the top 1% to their caliber, the chances are they'll settle for a street dude that'll go in the club, take her home with him, and he winds up having sex with her and she gets pregnant by the drop of a dime. That's your theoretical fault for the day. Listen, thank you for watching this episode of Turnaround Steery exclusively on my YouTube channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe to my channel. It would help out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content to the channel. Until next time, I'm Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Tenacious D, saying, Team Turnaround out.